Well, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Onco Innovations, at Channel A New Hope in Cancer Therapy. And joining to give us a high-level overview of the company, a little bit of his history leading up to that aha moment, uh, kind of getting all of us started. Thomas, the CEO, first and foremost, welcome, sir. Kyle, thanks so much. It's good to see you. Yeah, it's such a pleasure to get you on. So for newer audiences, uh, maybe just discuss the groundbreaking technology targeting uh, solid tumors and exactly what's going on under the hood there at Onco. Absolutely. I'm happy to do that, Kyle. And let me just say, what's going on under the hood is extensive. Uh, I often like to tell our team and uh, other audiences that the work that we're doing is building on the efforts of uh, 15 years plus research at the University of Alberta Cancer Institute. It's an extraordinary group of people. It's an extraordinary group of science. It's an extraordinary research. And it's one of the reasons why um, I got involved in, in Onco Innovations, because my mandate and my goal it's always been this way in my career is to bring hope to patients and we've got an opportunity with onco innovations to bring a proprietary drug portfolio and a completely new class of cancer therapy through our patented p and kp inhibitors uh, to the market to the clinic and most importantly to the bedside and to patients um, the second thing that i'm really excited about is how quickly and successfully, hopefully, we're going to be able to do that through the application of AI technology and AI integration that will enable us to identify patients who will benefit most from our therapeutics and expand those therapeutics much more quickly and much more definitively to other cancer types. We're initially focused on uh, our preclinical studies, uh, Colorectal cancer has been our focus, our solid tumor focus, but we know that PNKP will interplay with and affect other solid tumors, such as prostate, such as ovarian. We're beginning some research with the Cross Cancer Institute now at the U of A to look at glioblastoma, very, very difficult cancer uh, to treat. Um, so we are on an accelerated path in what is a very, very aggressive um, growth market, but it's aggressive because it needs to be, Kyle. You know, uh, 47%, 48% of people by 2040 um, will be, uh, unfortunately, fighting cancer. That's a, an increase, a significant increase, and that's despite all of our best efforts. We continue to experience treatment gaps in precision medicine and early diagnostics. Um, so that's what Onco Innovations and now with our acquisition of Inca Health AI is all about. It's advancing new hope for patients. Yeah, definitely appreciate the insight there. And just a bit into your background, you hold a, an MSC from Oxford University, grounding in extensive expertise in healthcare uh, strategy and policy implementation. What led up to that aha moment? How did you kind of get involved with Onco Innovation? Well, I uh, there's been many aha moments in my career because uh, my career has really been predicated on doing whatever I can to drive transformative change in healthcare, whether it's uh, from where I started at the University of Oxford, which is an excellent institution, to the work that I've done in public uh, healthcare systems, uh, both as a public sector leader, uh, as a management consultant, um, and uh, now as the CEO of Onco Innovations. It, you know, we've got an opportunity in front of us to do something truly transformational, uh, based here uh, in Canada, um, to advance cancer therapeutics and cancer uh, treatment. And that's transformative, Kyle. That's transformative change in healthcare. That's creating value. And that's bringing that value and bringing that change and bringing that promise uh, to the bedside. That's what's always driven me. Uh, that's my why. That's my modus operandi. And um, I think it's fair to say that that's Onco Innovations as well. On that note, we'll pass it off to the viewers as always. We'd love to know what you're thinking. Consider subscribing as news catalysts come down the wire. We're going to bring it to you here as the story continues to evolve. But on that, we look forward to catching you in the next one.